Good morning everyone. We parked in a lovely spot last night. Um, yeah, it's probably one of the best places we've ever parked, isn't it Theo? It's because it's ours! <laughs> This is our land. We are so stoked. We signed the deeds, I think it's called. Yeah. Signed the deeds yesterday and we're over the moon. We spent last night here and it was so peaceful, so calming and I've never felt so at home anywhere. So we'll take you around and we can have a little look and see what it's like. Let's go. And excuse my hair, I think there's a little bit, a little tufty bit sticking out. Had a shower yesterday in the sun on our land. It was just amazing. Like it's so warm still here and it's like December, it's nearly Christmas and it's so warm. It's just amazing. So this right here is one of our wells. We've got two wells on the property. The other one is spring fed. And as you can see, B is pulling up and down. <laughs> Bee's pulling up and down this crane type thing, which allows you to get water from the well. It's quite cool. No bucket on the end to actually get the water out. But yeah, there's no, the there is no bucket on the end. And one of my favourite things about our land is the prickly pears that we have because they just look gorgeous. They're so big, like they are. how big is that? And look at that green set against the blue sky, it looks amazing. But yeah, so that's, oh, you can actually see the, uh, the, pears? the pears there. Don't know if you can see that. These, these ones sadly are not quite edible. No. They've been left, they've rotted. Although those were not too bad, but next year. Everything's next year. <laughs> yeah, we'll be eating everything we can from the land. Talking about eating from the land, we've got fruit trees and we actually picked an orange yesterday. We didn't think it'd be ready to eat. So this morning we were like, oh, let's just cut into it and see. And it was perfect. So we're going to grab a load of oranges to take with us for Christmas. And this bit here in the well was for uh, donkeys. Donkeys would walk around, pull this, and then it would drag the water up from the well. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, let me just go up here. You climb up here. Don't fall in. <laughs> I'll try not to fall in. Uh, then the water would come up through this and then into here where they'd store the water and yeah maybe we can fill that in the summer and just sit in it you want to stay absolutely uh, cool in the summer because it gets so hot here So we've just arrived at our growing area. This is basically where it's really green. We're below the water table. Surrounded by lots of fruit trees. This is the orange tree that we got the very good orange from yesterday. And I've just spotted one up here. Check it out. That's so cool. <laughs> Oh, they smell so good. They do. That'll make a nice, uh, well, a couple more and we got an orange juice. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we need to get some um, fruit squeezers and then we can have fresh orange juice every day. But yeah, we've got quite a few orange trees. Yes. We've got olives. We've got apples, we've got figs. Um, and yeah, olives as well. And also, there's a, you might have noticed there's a lot of brambles. So we're going to have uh, either, I think they're probably blackberries as well. So that's cool. Vines. And vines. We can make wine, people. <laughs> <laughs> they, um... 
They look like they've been left to do their own thing for a few years, so they're gonna need some tender loving care before they're actually able to produce anything. But we've got vines, how cool is that? So just here we've got some kind of terraced areas, we've got two terraces and yeah that would be pretty good for just hanging out on. You could, you could grow stuff on there as well but maybe we can make some kind of nice decking area around here and just sit out and enjoy the weather. We've also got cork trees, this is one here. You can, I don't know if any of you have ever been to Portugal or you're from Portugal, you might know, but cork trees always have these rings around them where the cork is harvested every, I think it's like seven or something years. And we've got a few of these on the land, which is nice. And this one's just got a load of cork just hanging around about it, which is pretty cool. And yeah, before we came to Portugal, I had no idea that cork grew like this on trees, <laughs> which sounds really silly, but if you don't know, you don't know. And that's what we loved about this property, is there's so many different trees. There's a really good selection. I mean, look up here, we've got a whole kind of mini forest going on. And we've got uh, oaks, we've got Pine. pines, uh, some more cork trees. Some olives, some more prickly pears, probably some other trees that we haven't even seen yet. <laughs> Guys, the land is big. Every time I walk up and down it, I get completely out of breath. I do need to get fitter, but it's quite a big spot and there's quite a few hills as well. So yeah, it's good. Good for my fitness. Bee's juggling her orange. Very random. But yeah, you can see the, uh, the van part there. And that is behind the main feature of this property which is the barn that we'll show you now. So this is gonna be our main project. We are gonna do a barn conversion and we are super excited about that. It's gonna be so awesome when it's finished. We've got so many ideas. We have, full of them. But and yeah. Uh, it's a bit of an obstacle course to get in, but it makes it more exciting. So let's try and battle our way through the brambles. <laughs> Found this broom, go for it. Good luck. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some shoes on. I've just realised I've got sandals on. I'm gonna flip in. Bad idea. Enjoy my feet. <laughs> Actually, everyone, look at Theo's feet. I'm wearing Traitor. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the barn. I don't know how much we're going to be able to show you because it's quite dark, but it's so much bigger than we thought it was from the outside. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. When we first stepped inside, we were so surprised and we discovered that it is 100% a barn. There's <laughs> straw all over the floor. Yeah, I mean, look at that floor. <laughs> animal droppings. We've found a snake skin. We've seen some geckos and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, come have a look at this window. Look how thick the stone is. Granite stone, very thick, so in the summer it stays cool during the day and then we've heard that the heat transfers through the stone so at night it gets quite hot, but if you've got good ventilation, good drafts or maybe just a fan, you'll be okay. Yeah, we've been learning so much from people. People have been so kind and, you know, people we stayed with, Nick and Emily. Yeah. 
um, you know, Jamie and Marley, they've yeah. gave us so much information, which has just been so valuable. And Claire and Louis as well. So we've Claire met and Louis, yep. a few people who are doing cool things. But yeah, look at that. You can see the, uh, the van out of that nice little window. That's going to be really cool. I'm thinking possibly like a stained glass situation here might be quite nice. There's another window over here. This is where the gecko was. <laughs> so there's a gecko just hiding out along here. Look guys. A shedded snake skin. Very tiny. <laughs> that is the smallest snake I've ever seen. <laughs> Very small, but yeah, this was previously a window. We can see that they literally just propped up a stone and stuck it on. So because the struts and everything are already there, it's all supported. We're just going to knock that through and have a window there. So we've got a beautiful view there, beautiful view there, nice breeze going on. So a nice barn door on the yes, uh, on the front door. Put a lovely door on at the moment. It's a bit of a rusty, crazy looking door, but it's so it'd be called a stable door. A stable door, yeah. We'll put, we want to keep it like Barney, Barney <laughs> style. We need a name for the barn actually. Come nice and look. rustic. <laughs> yeah. You can tell they've had a fire up here in the past. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's in, you know, it's in good condition. Like, we're not starting right from scratch. No, the roof is, like, done in, and it's concrete, so it's yeah. going to be up there for a really long time. The tiles are in excellent condition. We just need to clean it up, insulate, board it up, and then, you know, get started in here. I can't wait to get rid of the straw and see what the actual floor is like, because it's pretty thick, this straw. It's very bouncy. There's probably loads of things living underneath it. <laughs> Check out this really old chest that's just been left. Obviously that was where the animals would feed out of maybe or they kept the straw. It's gonna turn that into Theo's bed. <laughs> <laughs> so this gives you an idea of size. So B obviously over there. It's fairly big, you know, it's really cool. I've always dreamed of a Scottish bothy and this is gonna be, this is a bothy style building. It's one story stone building. Although we've definitely got plans for a mezzanine in here for a sleeping deck. But yeah, the roof is in great condition. It's all a brand new roof, pretty much. Uh, it's just covered in copper, really. Not other than that, it's really needs well. cleaning up. Yes. I mean, this wall here is obviously going to come down. It's just a breeze block partition wall. That'll be easy to come out. And yeah, it's going to be an amazing project to get stuck in on. I wanted to say actually, have any of you watching done something similar? Have you bought a building that's like this? And got any tips for us? Because obviously we've never done anything like this before. So any advice would be greatly appreciated. Get in touch. So another cool area is this huge tree right here, this corker. You can see the cork on it where it's been stripped. It looks really cool. That might be good for a tree house. It's a very sturdy old tree with a nice platform in the middle. Very exciting little forest area. Yeah, like Theo said earlier, we really wanted a place that had a good mixture of different things going on it. We've got open spaces, we've got foresty spaces, we've got so many different stuff going on, we've got little bouldery places, it's just perfect for what we wanted. So we won't be able to show you everything on the property because it's really big, but here is a nice big open expanse. You've got a few trees over here and then down here I'm thinking eventually maybe mountain bike jumps, but the main thing is getting the uh, barn finished, Definitely. get then, that livable, yes. and then we can build some guest premises, maybe yes. a cabin, yes, so sure. when people stay. Composting toilet. <laughs> Composting toilet, we need a shower. Yeah, We've got sure. so many plans, but. We've got somewhere where our friends who come and visit us in vans can just stay wherever they want, which is really cool. There's enough room. There's definitely enough room for people to come and stay. Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> just a bit. There's literally so many trees everywhere. I mean, look at this one. Gorgeous colours against the blue sky. 
and the leaves are only just falling off. It's so beautiful. Don't know if you can see that very well, but really, really lovely. So that's it for the tour. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. We couldn't show you everything because it's really big. There's lots going on, but we're super excited. This is going to be our biggest project yet. And this is our commitment to alternative living. You know, we've lived in vans, we've lived in boats, and now we can build our own fully off grid barn conversion. A lot of you guys are going to think, are we quitting van life? No, we are not quitting van life. Uh, we will still be traveling in the van. This will just be our base. So we can come back to here, recharge, re-energize, and then head back out in the van and film lots more content for you. So yeah, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. If you want to support us and help continue making our videos, then join us on Patreon from only $1 a month. See you on the next one.